I had a question about uh, processing GPS data that is doing network adjustments. Now, Carson has the Survey GNSS software for that purpose. Uh, so what I wanted to do in this video is illustrate uh, how simple it is to use the software and kind of a shortcut, if you wish, we call GNSS resections. So I'll talk about project setup and uh, kind of work with the observations. Okay, so file new to get started uh, project all right so I need to give it a file name uh, and a location for for this so I'm gonna go to my video folder and there we go project data let me call this one uh, survey GNSS let's call it resection that's good enough and click save I'm prompt for a template I don't need any so I will go ahead and cancel perfect all right now, the first step that I like to do is review my preferences. So, edit preferences. In the general tab, I'm looking for gravity model or geoid. You know, it's a gravity model geoid file. Make sure it's enabled. Uh, if I didn't have one, I could download one from Carlson. Uh, also, antenna definitions. So, you want to make sure that you have the latest ones. So, you can go to our Carlson website to find the latest. Uh, vectors we will use precise ephemeris uh, and then under adjustment uh, this was done with a BRX6 plus unit uh, receiver so centering error five millimeters is good is within the specs of the receiver and then for the vector weighting um, priority variance factor I'm gonna up uh, that value a little bit okay so let's go file open to load the observations. So right away you see that there's a Carson BRX receivers. Could be a BRX6 plus or BRX7. I'm gonna grab that. I'm using 2.0 format. Uh, so it, you know basically I don't need to worry about uh, Galileo. So I'm gonna use some of the core stations uh, that don't carry that data. All right, so let's highlight here. Notice that it, uh, in the position I see longitude and latitude. So let me go to edit, spatial reference system definition and what I can do is load my coordinate systems so I'm gonna go California this was done in zone 6 so there we are let's hit OK to load it and notice how it changed now to North and Eastings so that's that's what I wanted to see okay uh, quick check I want to do edit antenna just to make sure that my antenna is listed if it was blank I would need to look for another antenna file all right and again that default is the NGS ATX so shouldn't worry about that okay let's go and take a look at the observed satellites here so I'm looking that there's not a lot of gaps uh, I see a couple of glow nuts, but again I'm more concerned about GPS and there seems to be plenty so we should be good okay perfect so now let's talk about the shortcut and there's a couple ways of doing this I'm going to use GNSS resection uh, basically right click GNSS resection perfect and it is a shortcut but because what the software will do, it's going to look at the core stations, the nearest core stations. I mean, click here, zoom extent. Notice that it found three. Those are the three closest ones. You know, 12 miles, uh, 16 miles, and almost 19 miles. And if we're okay, and this data was nicely centered, then we can right click and process. So it kind of a one stop uh, the software will go fetch the data from the core station so we're going to download that information into the system uh, i'm using precise ephemeris so it will also download the ephemeris for those stations so we'll have all the data that we need and once uh, it's processed that it'll right away calculate the vectors so again one step so notice that it's almost done retrieving the observations there we are so we have all of that. I downloaded the uh, ephemeris data for that, uh, kind of the reference frame, if you wish. And now it's going to compute all the vectors. So in one step. Now, it doesn't mean that if I don't like the results, uh, I, I'm done. I can always go back and revisit and change my preferences, uh, my waiting options, potentially. Or uh, if I had more stations, I could search for more data. Uh, if your station wasn't listed, uh, maybe you know that you know in this case there might be another station close by but it's not listed uh, I can go to the to that particular station and download the data right okay so uh, it's finished so it's asking me to save uh, this so I'm gonna say GPS perfect uh, the format is uh, compatible with ServNet uh, the other Carson application and I can see that it has but let me go ahead and maximize the report so we see the key square variance test here 
has. There's some other options here. We'll show confidence regions, network accuracy, observations, vector accuracy. Let me close that. Perfect. We can see kind of the display of the vectors there. That's good. And just for now, because for the video, I'm looking at vectors here, so high quality in all of them. The solution was fixed, so I'm, I might be happy with my position. So I can go click Save Adjustments, so save this file. Notice that the icon changed to green. So it's now a calculated fixed uh, position. I'm going to click on Positions. There we go. All right, so I can see here and I can see the accuracy. Um, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, now, again, as I said, uh, maybe if I... If I'm good with this, I go File and, for instance, Save As. And what this does is export the data. Uh, CRDB or RAW, those are Carson formats, something I upload to Surf CE, Surf PC, or Carson Survey. So I'm going to keep that CRDB. Uh, you will have an option to export to Landex Mills if you're going to a different application. Uh, and lastly, just uh, for the purpose of the video, uh, let me show if I didn't like the results, let's say that I wanted to run this with more data, I could go search, publish observations, and now uh, I have a proximity uh, setting under preferences. It's going to look and find all the other stations in the area. So now I could check a few of those, acquire the data, and have the software process new vectors and recalculate the adjustments. All right, hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.